Hello everyone, it's Serenity. I hope you're doing well. So today's video is going to be about Watchtower and why it seems like they are just collapsing all of a sudden. Well, the scriptures tell us why. Yeshua told us why. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Matthew 7, 24 through 27. And that says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on rock. Now, this is what <laughs> Watchtower did in 26 and 27. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was its fall. Here it is, right here. Basically, Watchtower decided to build on sand, or lies. The rock would stand for truth. If you had built your teachings on truth, which Jesus stood for, love being that guiding principle, very solid, very stable, true, divine love is the rock. Truth is the rock. You chose to build on sand, which is lies. And teachings that were not based on love whatsoever. They were based on conditional love and being judgmental, which is what Yahweh or Jehovah is. So no wonder you would have these same qualities. But what does sand do? When there is the slightest pressure or elements of nature that comes at it, it begins to shift here, there. It gets all dis. Basically, it changes. And you can see this with Watchtower. If there's any type of resistance or force, pressure, things that go against it, challenge it, it shifts. It can't be stable because it wasn't built on anything stable. So that's why we see all of these changes in new light that they need in order to try and keep that structure standing. But after a while, there is nothing that they can do to keep that structure standing. As it says here, great was its fall. This is a consequence of their own actions for the choices that they made. It's not that we rejoice in something else, but when you have religions and cults like this that have hurt so many people, and literally followed after their father, the devil. This is a consequence of the actions. They basically decided to build on sand or lies instead of truth. Because that was more profitable. That's what it comes down to. And Matthew 6, 24. Jesus had warned. You cannot slave for two masters. You can't slave for God and also riches or building wealth. It does not work. It does not work because you will go for one over the other. And I'll even say, I will caution ones who are out here trying to help others and really teach about Jesus and love and principles to not intertwine financial gain with teaching and showing that love, that unconditional love to really help people. It's very difficult to do both things. But anyway, that's what I wanted to see, say today. That is why you're seeing Watchtower fall 
and all of these things happen. The shifting, the shifting that they're even doing like in the May 2024 study edition where it's actually in print, the shift that's occurring because there's pressure being put on them from external forces. So they have to change and kind of, you know, adapt to the situation to try and keep themselves from collapsing. It's ridiculous. Okay, (laughs) that's all I wanted to say for today. There's other things I have to say too, because that cornerstone also was rejected, which, you know, creates stability. But yeah, you, you don't want truth when you're trying to deceive people. That's for sure. Okay, everyone, I love you very much. I'm sending my peace to you and my hugs. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.